correct. Okay, you are on a Chick-fil-A box right now. So we're going on vacation tomorrow for a week. And of course I chose books that fit the vibe of the trip to bring along with me. Like, how am I not going to do that? I picked two books, even though Jocelyn thought I was crazy for doing so, but it's like you read half of one book on the plane and then you finish it in like the first couple days you're there and then you want to start another book. These are the two books that I picked. They are typically books that I wouldn't normally find myself, no, typically genres that I wouldn't really find myself reaching for, but I did it anyway. The first book is called Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan trying to decide if I can do this book justice by describing it to you. My favorite genre of book is like 20 something year old that doesn't know what's going on in their life but like they figure it out anyway and I don't think she's in her 20s but it sounds like not only is she going to contemplate I think it's like one of those where she has to like choose the guy but I don't I think not only is she going to be contemplating like who she should be with but she's going to be contemplating whether or not she truly likes her life the life she's been living about the life that she's going to marry into because she's engaged and i don't know so i feel like not only is it going to be like cute and rom commy, but like it'll also give me that touch of like figuring out what you're doing with your life Next one is Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. And I've just been hearing a lot of stuff about Catherine Center all over YouTube and Book Talk. I went through all her books because I wanted to read something of hers and I picked the one that I thought was sounded the most interesting. Her newest release, I forgot what it was called, but everybody, that's the one everybody's been raving about. So I want to read this and then if I really like it, I'll probably move on to like her more recent releases. But essentially, this is about a firefighter who gets transferred to a different unit in a different state, I believe. Yeah, and so it's essentially like a romance, but they're firefighters. I watched The Rookies. This was right up my alley. <laughs> so yeah, they're both romancy, but they're both kind of... This one obviously gives summer vibes, and then this one just gives summer vibes because the cover's really pretty. But yeah, I actually really think I'm going to like both of them a lot, so we'll see. We leave tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., so let's see if I can get through some of the first book on the playwright. yoga session how come you're not buff yet literally i was so upset when i came back looking the same <laughs> back looking the same this is ashley oh wait, it's already recording that nice. <laughs> i'm reading once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber oh by stephanie garber it's a series after carnival that i also finished oh wait these are connected um they could be read separate but they suggest you read this one after on page 17 because I got bored I mean it's good but it's like on the plane I didn't want to so I'm gonna start chapter two and that's it now we're just gonna lay on the beach and read and be cute I'll tell you if any new developments happen in the plot of the book my back is already sore from yoga that was a full body workout and I'm not even kidding Dude, I am the best candidate for the I like to go candidate. Yeah, the candidate was a Say hi to the vlog, Jocelyn, even though you're Mom. all up close. Oh, hello, vlog! <laughs> <laughs> I am their mother. I am your mother. I am your mother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted, and hopefully I don't get interrupted again. I am mad at the main guy and this book will only be a five star if he maybe not I don't know if it's gonna be a five star but we'll see if she's able to get me to like him again because I'm mad at him because he was being stupid so I don't know we'll see 
if I end up liking him and ship them. Because right now I'm upset with him. Like, how could he do... <laughs> Whatever. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. He's probably a different person now. It's fine. I'm going to ask Jocelyn what she's reading. Um, so I know I was going to say I was, I'm going to read Beach Read, but I lied. I'm still reading one dark window. I keep forgetting the name of this book. I don't know why, but I love it so far. It's really good. Um, I'm on the second part, I think, out of three, and I like it. It's good. <laughs> I like the magic system, I guess that's what you can call it. I like the characters. I feel like the romance slowly building. It's, it's really enjoyable. That's why I want to keep reading it instead of reading Beach Read. But maybe I'll finish this one this trip and then on the plane ride back, I'll be on Beach Read. But yeah, that's my update. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's been a couple days later and I finished same time next summer. Maybe this is a four star. I initially gave this a 3.75 because, I, okay, for, let me say the good things really first. It was really cute. The summer, they go over the romances, like when they were kids, like the t first time they fell in love, and that was really, really cute. That's Nayeli. <laughs> the romance, like the first time that they fall in love, that was really, really cute, and I loved it so much. Also, one thing that happened, we watched The Devil Wars Prada last night, or no, what did we watch? 13 going on 30, and, Mark Ruffalo's character, what is his name, Matt? Mm -hmm. He was like still gonna marry that other girl even though he was literally falling in love with Jennifer Garner, but whatever, it's fine. And I was telling him I don't understand why characters do that in books and movies when they literally know that they're in love with somebody else but they still go through with the wedding anyway. I don't know, make it make sense. But the something I liked about this book is that she was realizing, everyone was calling her out on her chat and they were telling her like, you don't, like if you love him, that's fine, go ahead, get married, like yeah, he's a doctor or whatever, but like, you're not you anymore, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And so she ends up leaving him with that. Oh, is that a spoiler? Nah. <laughs> I'll put. Yeah. Is that a spoiler? No, just put. You're not I'll put a warning. <laughs> <laughs> she actually leaves him without the intent to get back together with Wyatt. She leaves him for herself. My main critique of the book, the reason why I gave it a 3.75 and not a 4 is because I wish it was longer. It's only 285 pages and once they're adults and they finally get back together, it's like a chapter. They get back together for a chapter and then the book's done. And the chapter, all the chapters are like five pages probably, sometimes less. So I wish I could have just seen, I wish it was longer. I wish I could have seen them together longer. I wish I could have basked in the cuteness longer because it was really cute. Yeah, I guess I'll give it a 4 because I'm thinking about it. It's actually really, it was really cute. It made me feel the feels. And now... I've moved on to Things You Save in a Fire. I'm on page 46, and I already really like it. Our character is already very strong, very, like she stands up for herself. This is all in the first 50 pages that I already feel like she's super cool. That's it, I like it already, and it's only 50 pages. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot, if I'm being completely honest. And Kathleen Center, everybody hypes her up, and I'm only 50 pages in and I could see why. And so now I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna have Jocelyn tell you what she thought, cause she just finished her book. So here you go. Oh, there's Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. I finished One Dark Window. Oh, woo! Um, I liked it. Okay. <laughs> I enjoyed it very much so. So mm -hmm. I'll give it like a four stars. I think. Why is it a question mark? So I don't know, I just finished it. I haven't like. Processed? Processed a lot. I mean. I, 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 I liked how it ended, even though it did not necessarily have a happy ending. It made me excited to read the second book because it finally did not end like all the other fantasy duologies. The first one ends. I can say what the ending was, you know, because I'm a spoiler free. What the? It's really good. I recommend it. I mean, four stars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah woo! Four stars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna start reading Beach Read now. This is the book I first intended to read, and I got distracted because this one was really good. Ashley, do you want to review your book so far? <laughs> Ashley may or may not give you a review later. We'll see you guys. But yeah, we're gonna spend the rest of the day reading and just hanging out and chilling. So peace out. Okay, 
So I have discovered that my review for Things You Save in a Fire has, the footage is gone along with a lot of the footage that I have from this vacation for this video. So if stuff feels felt very like choppy, that's why I lost a lot of my footage. With that being said, let's review Things You Save in a Fire. We went on that trip in April, it's July. It's still, it's still my favorite book. Five stars, six stars, more, 10 out of 10. Since reading this book, I have not shut up about it. Everybody in my life knows that this is my favorite book. And if they don't know that this is the book in particularly, they know that my favorite book is a book about this girl firefighter that gets transferred from another unit to a sexist, not sexist, more traditional, and then the sexism comes with it, but with a different station, and then she falls in love with the rookie, and then blah, blah, blah. And I think at the beginning of the video, I said that I, that normally I wouldn't pick up a book like that, and this one, I thought it was just gonna be a straight romance, and I don't really read romance, and I've discovered that I just don't really enjoy rom-coms. Anyway, that's besides the point. I don't really like or read rom-coms like that. I've read like The Love Hypothesis, and that's, it. So I thought going into this book, I was just gonna be like, okay, it'll be sweet, it'll be like just a surface level, simple, fun, and entertaining for the vibes read. That's not what this was at all. And that's why I loved it so much because yes, she is, you do watch as her and the Ricky fall in love <laughs> and you root for them to be together, but not only is she dealing with that, she's dealing with her relationship with her mom and you just have to know that their relationship is, they literally hardly talked for like almost 15, 16 years and now all of a sudden they're living together. It deals with trying to fix your relationship with your parent. It deals with the effects of trauma and how it like can affect you not only right after but like throughout the rest of your life. It talks about falling in love and whether or not falling in love is weak or brave. There's this whole scene where her Cassie and her mom had this conversation about whether or not it's worth it to love and it was just so good. It was just so inspiring to read this book, especially after like last year going through a breakup, reading this book and feeling very like, I'm never gonna open my heart up again to anybody, like I'm never gonna love again when that's essentially Cassie. She's like, it's not worth it to fall in love because love hurts and love is hard. And she ends up falling in love and there's just so many, it's just so good. The characters are great. The Ricky is 10 out of 10 amazing. All the firefighters that in, are in her new unit are great. You like them. You're like really expecting for them to be like, assholes because that's just kind of what she's expecting because she's a woman in a male dominated um, industry. I could go on about this book for hours and hours and hours. It's four, how many months? April, May, June, July. It's three months later and I still am rambling on about this book because it's just so good. It's so good. It's, it's so good. It's so good. The plot's good and it doesn't follow any like specific trope at least not that i'm aware of because it wasn't really like grumpy sunshine or like enemies to lovers and it wasn't really fake dating there's a little bit of fake dating it's like sprinkled in there so if you like that but it's just so much more than a romance but the romance also adds so much to it but it's just oh it's about her relationship with her mom it's about falling in love with the rookie it's about being a woman female firefighter and patriarchy and f the patriarchy I'm just so passionate about this book. It's my favorite book and I've been recommending it to people left and right. And that's how much I loved this book that I'm scared of reading any of Catherine Center's other books because you can't go up from here. This is the book. <laughs> this is the best book that I have ever read. Sorry, that was really dramatic. But was it? I love this book and you need to read it. And I think if you're a romance girly, it'll satisfy that. If you are a like more literary fiction, kind of like character-driven person, you'll enjoy it. If you like books that kind of raise philosophical ideas and like make you think really hard and potentially a little bit give you an existential crisis, like that's an, that it'll satisfy that. Like it's just there's it's everything in one. It's so good, and this so far is my favorite read of 2024. I just needed a proper review. The two sentences I had about the book that didn't get erased, there was no way I was going to just leave that as the review because this book deserves a eight minute long. This clip is eight minutes right now before I've cut it up. Go to your local bookstore now and buy yourself Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center and I promise you, you won't forget it. Anyway. 
100 million stars. So that concludes my, my vacation reads vlog. These are the two books I read. Same time next summer, which I think I rated this like a 3.75 and I didn't know if I should rate it a 5, 4 star. I think I'm just scared of rating any kind of book below a 4 star because I feel like that seems like it wasn't good or that I didn't enjoy it. But that's not true. I actually really enjoyed this book. The way Sam loves the beach and the ocean and all this stuff, it made me want to like the beach and the ocean that much. So it was perfect for my trip because it. I'm not really one to like go in the water at the beach or enjoy the sand and stuff, but it made me like all those things more. So if you're going to go any, on any kind of like beachy tropical trip, for sure take this because not only is it short and sweet and entertaining and cute but it like just elevates the whole tropical beach experience and there's this one which is a million stars out of ten and you should just read it because it's beautiful and complex and cute and adorable and has action and it's just the best thing ever you should read it this is my new favorite book read it right now go buy it anywhere where you your local bookstore where you buy books thank you for watching my vlog i don't know how i'm gonna read anything else after this truly really but yeah, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.